let's review the integers quiz one. This is for adding integers. For number one through four, we're doing the absolute value. Remember, absolute value is always positive as far as what is on the inside of the absolute value bars. But the absolute value bars only control what's on the inside. They don't control what's on the outside. Okay? So number one, the absolute value of 98 is 98. Number two is a two-step problem. You have to figure out what's the absolute value of negative 678, which is positive 678. Then you have this opposite guy on the outside. You have to figure out what's the opposite of 678, which is negative, negative 678. Number three, that is not an absolute value sign. Those are parentheses, which means we take the opposite, because this little guy is an opposite. What's the opposite of negative 61? That is positive 61. And number four, the absolute value of negative 214 is positive 214, because absolute value is always positive. All right, for 5 through 13, we are using the rules for adding integers to find the, the following sum. So remember, if the signs are the same, we add and keep the sign. If they are different, we subtract and keep the sign of the number with the highest absolute value. For number 5, I have different signs, so I subtract your biggest number, no matter whether it's positive or negative, whichever one has the biggest absolute value, that's the one that has to go on top. And then you subtract like normal. We regroup. 12 minus 9. 12 minus 3 is 9. 3 minus 2 is 1. The number with the highest absolute value is positive. So it's positive 19. For number 6, my signs are the same. So I add. 9 plus 3 is 12. 6 plus 4 is 10. Plus 1 is 11. They're both negative, so my answer is negative 112. For number 7, my signs are the same, so I add. 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. They're both negative, so it's negative 109. When you have more than two numbers, forget about what's at the end and just solve the first part. Negative 9 plus 9, my signs are different, so I subtract. That is 0. Then, bring down everything else. 0 plus negative 14. My signs are different, so I subtract. 14 minus 0 is 14, and the bigger number is negative, so that's negative 14. For number 9, we're going to forget about this negative 25 at the end, and we're just going to add... 21 plus 15, because my signs are the same. 1 plus 5 is 6. 2 plus 1 is 3. Keep your sign. Then bring down plus negative 25. Again, my signs are the same, so I'm adding. 6 plus 5 is one, 11. 3 plus 1 is 4. Plus 2 is 6. They're both negative, so it's negative 61. For number 10, again, we forget about what's at the end. I have different signs, so I subtract. 17 minus 8 is negative 9. Add 16. Now my signs are different, so I subtract. 16 minus 9 is 7. My bigger number of this part, we don't go back to our original. We're here at this new problem. The bigger number is positive, so it's positive 7. For number 11, my signs are different, so I subtract 20 minus 15 is 5. The bigger number is positive, so my answer is positive. For number 12, my signs are the same, so I add. 8 plus 2 is 10. 6 plus 2 is 8. They're both negative, so that's negative 80. And for 13, my signs are the same, so I add. 8 plus 9 is 17. 5 plus 4 is 9. They're both negative, so it's negative 97. Tell whether the following statement is true or false. Use an example to explain your answer. A negative plus a negative is a negative. That is true. 
Because if they have the same sign, you add them and keep your sign. So negative 2 plus negative 2 is negative 4. For number 15, you enter an elevator on the sixth floor. The elevator goes up three and then down five. Six plus three is nine. Nine minus five is four. So what floor do you exit on? You exit on the fourth floor. 